Hello guys, welcome back to another Android application development tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about how to place a YouTube video in your Android application. Start a new project in Android Studio. Specify an application name. Here I name it as YouTube Test. Click Next. Click Next. Uh, select an empty activity, click next and finally click finish. Ok now the project is created. To play a YouTube video, you need the internet permission for the application. So open your manifest folder, open android manifest.xml file. Now here, uh, you need to add the internet permission. So use this permission and specify the internet permission. Ok. So placing a YouTube video on your Android application, you need a YouTube API. So you need to add an API file to your Android application. You need to download some jar file. So open your browser and search for YouTube Android API go to this website uh, go to the download option you need to download this zip file download it go to the download folder Extract that files. Ok, now open the lips folder and copy this jar file. Now go to Android Studio. Now change this one into Project View. Open the App folder and there is a lip folder is available and paste that jar file inside the lips folder paste it here and click OK ok now we add a jar file to our android application now we need to compile this jar file so open file option and go to the project structure now select the app now go to dependencies now at the right side select this plus option and add a file dependency. Now select the jar file from the lips folder and click OK. Now click OK. Now the project is built again. Ok now the build finishes. So to play a YouTube video, we need data from Google server. To get data from Google server, we need an API key. To get the API key, you have to submit your Android application package name and your SH1 certificate fingerprint on Google Developer Console. You can easily get the SH1 certificate fingerprint from Android Studio. At the right side, you can here you can see a gradle option. Select that one and select the folder called the YouTube test and from that open Android and there is an option called the signing report open that one so here is your MD5 and SHA1 certificate fingerprint you have to copy this one and submit this one to the Google developer console ok now open your browser and search for Google Developer Console. Go to the Google API Console. Here, create a new project. Specify a project name. I name it as YouTube Test. 
and create the project. Okay, now the project is created. Now go to the AP. Now select the credential options, credentials, and here select this option called the create credentials. And here we need an API key. So select API key, and we need some Android key. So select this option called the Android key, and here select this option called add package name and fingerprint here you have to submit your package name and here you need to submit the SHA1 certificate fingerprint you will get the package name from the manifest file so go to the android manifest.xml and here is the package name you have to copy the package name and go to the developer console paste the package name here and here you have to paste the SHA1 certificate fingerprint ok now here I submit my package name and SHA1 certificate fingerprint now click the create button and here the API key is generated you have to copy this API key ok now go to Android Studio change this one into Android now right click the package and create a new java class with the class name player config create a constructor for this class now create some variable private static final string API key now you have to specify your API key here ok now here I add my API key ok change this one into public now specify the API key ok now go to the activity main.xml file delete this text view so now here we have to add a YouTube player view. Select the custom view. From that one, select the YouTube player view. Okay. Now we need to add some ID for the YouTube player view. First here I am going to change the layout width into match parent. Uh, there is no margin needed so I remove all these margins now here is the ID I change that one into uh, YouTube player view ok now we need a button to start play bike so add a button now specify some text play video now change the ID of the button into BN ok now go to main activity dot Java first remove this one up compact activity instead of you have to use something called YouTube base activity now here we need some variable first one is a YouTube player view I name it as YouTube player view now we need some variable for button I name it as button now we need some variable for on initialized listener uh, this is not YouTube thumbnail view instead of you have to use the YouTube player and specify the variable name as on initialized listener ok now we need to initialize these variables first I'm going to initialize the button button and typecast that one into button now find it
Okay, now initialize the YouTube player view. So YouTube player view equal to first type cast type one into YouTube player view. Now find it. Find the view by id r dot id dot YouTube player view. Now initialize the on initialize the listener. So on initialize the listener equal to new on initialize listener. Here we get two abstract method called on initialized on initialization success and on initialization failure. Now we need to declare some on click for the button. So button dot set on click listener. So when the user click the button, we have to initialize the player. So YouTube player view dot initialize. First you have to specify the API key. We can get the API key from the player config class. So player config API key. Now we specify the listener till the on initialized listener is on initialized listener. Okay. Now we have to load the video. Okay, now go to YouTube and select any YouTube video. From the video URL, you have to copy the final string. So I copy the final string from the video URL. Now go to Android Studio. Now from the on initialization success, we have we have an argument called the YouTube player. So use that argument YouTube player dot load video and specify the final string from the YouTube video. Okay, now we finish the coding. Now we can test this application on a real Android device. Okay, now if the user made a long click, the contextual action mode appear. Now the user made some selection. 